The world of Apple leaks just got shaken again, and this time, it's not about an iPhone, MacBook, or AirPods. It's about something far more interesting, the M5 iPad Pro, a device that seems to exist quietly, yet it's now the center of one of the biggest Apple performance leaks of 2025. If you thought Apple was done surprising the tech world after the M4 generation, think again. Because this new benchmark leak might reveal what could become Apple's most powerful tablet ever, and maybe, the start of a much bigger revolution across the Mac and iPad lineup. Let's take a step back for a moment. Apple is famously secretive, no one moves information in or out of Cupertino without consequence. And yet, here we are, staring at leaked benchmarks for a product that hasn't even been teased. An early video appeared online, apparently showing the M5 iPad Pro in full, packaging, boot up, and all. It seems too bold to be fake, and the numbers we're seeing match the pattern Apple's silicon roadmap has followed perfectly. The M4 iPad Pro, released earlier, was already ahead of its time. It brought us a wafer-thin redesign, a dazzling tandem OLED display, and the M4 chip that stunned everyone with power efficiency and graphical performance. So why did Apple feel the need to introduce the M5 this soon? The answer might be more strategic than you think. Apple's transition to Apple Silicon has reached a stage where yearly chip improvements are no longer about raw power alone, they're about platform evolution. The M5 chip seems to be engineered not only to boost performance but also to handle what's next for Apple, on-device artificial intelligence, machine learning, and generative tasks that define the next wave of computing. According to leaked Geekbench data, the M5 inside the iPad Pro delivers a single-core score of around 4,133 and a multi-core result near 15,437. Those numbers might sound technical, but here's the translation. This tablet now performs at a level once reserved for high-end MacBook Pros. The iPad, a device many still dismiss as a content consumption machine, is now beating laptops that cost thousands more, all without a fan. This kind of performance is achieved with one fewer performance core than the expected desktop M5 variant. That means the actual M5 chip for MacBooks, with active cooling, could easily break 16,500 or even 17,000 multi-core in the same tests, a massive leap over the M4 generation. This new chip isn't just faster, it's more efficient, cooler, and better optimized for real-world multitasking. And here's where things get even more fascinating. The M5 iPad Pro isn't just about the CPU. Its GPU jump is what's really causing a stir in tech circles. The leaked benchmark reports a metal score of over 74,000, placing it squarely in the range of the M3 Pro from last year's MacBook Pro. Yes, you read that right, the base M5 chip in an iPad now performs like a Pro-level chip in a MacBook from just two generations ago. This signals something major for Apple's silicon strategy. The M-series chips aren't just being refreshed annually for marketing. They're evolving toward a unified power baseline, one where an iPad and a MacBook might soon be capable of running the same professional-grade software without compromise. Imagine Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, and Xcode running seamlessly on the iPad, not watered down, but full-featured desktop experiences. This isn't fantasy, it's Apple's direction. The M5 benchmarks prove it's not only possible but inevitable. Now, what about design? This is where Apple remains conservative, and deliberately so. The M4 iPad Pro was an extensive redesign, introducing the thinnest iPad body in history and a dual-layer tandem OLED display that set new standards for visual clarity and contrast. The M5 model appears visually identical, which makes perfect sense. Apple traditionally refines internals before touching the outer shell again. The iPad Pro design language is already near perfection, thin, lightweight, and durable. So instead of chasing aesthetics, Apple is perfecting what lies within. One subtle but significant change comes in the memory configuration. For years, iPad owners complained about RAM limitations, especially for creative apps and multitasking. Apple seems to have listened. 
The M5 iPad Pro base models now come with 12GB of RAM, even in the lower storage variants. That's a huge deal. Previously, Apple limited non-terabyte models to 8GB, even though the hardware physically contained 12GB, four of which were software locked. This time, all of it appears to be unlocked and accessible, meaning smoother app transitions, more stable AI functions, and better long-term performance for pro users. But what does this mean in the real world? For one, creative professionals will notice the difference immediately. Large photo editing sessions in Adobe Lightroom, complex layers in Procreate, and massive timeline projects in LumaFusion or DaVinci Resolve will all benefit from that extra memory headroom. Even more exciting is what this means for Apple's upcoming AI integration in iPadOS. The next generation of iPadOS, rumored to arrive alongside this new hardware, will likely feature on-device AI, powered by the neural engine within the M5 chip. This will enable real-time object removal, smart image generation, and advanced text prediction without relying on the cloud. With better GPU compute and more RAM, the iPad will finally become a standalone creative powerhouse, not just an accessory to the Mac ecosystem. In many ways, this leak feels intentional. Apple knows that anticipation fuels attention, and attention drives influence. By allowing these benchmarks to slip out, Apple could be subtly setting expectations, showing that it's already ready for a future of high-performance mobile computing while competitors are still optimizing ARM-based designs. When compared to the M4, the generational jump here is impressive. We're seeing roughly 10-12% to higher single-core performance, around 15-18% to better multi-core, and a staggering up to 25% improvement in GPU processing. Those numbers put Apple firmly ahead of the competition in power efficiency per watt, and if you consider this is all achieved in a fanless iPad body, it's mind-blowing. The real secret behind this performance might be in the architecture. The M5 is rumored to be built on TSMC's enhanced 3 nanometers process, N3E, improving transistor density and reducing heat output. This gives Apple's chip designers more flexibility to push clock speeds without compromising battery life. As a result, even under sustained workloads, the iPad can deliver consistent performance, something Android tablets and even some Windows devices still struggle with. This benchmark leak doesn't just tease the next iPad Pro, it hints at the roadmap for the M5 family as a whole. The M5 Pro and M5 Max chips, expected later this year, will likely take this foundation and scale it for the MacBook Pro and Mac Studio. If the base M5 is already outperforming the M3 Pro, then we could see the M5 Pro matching or even surpassing the M3 Max. That's a generational leap in less than 12 months, which is remarkable. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the argument that Apple doesn't innovate anymore. Critics have said that for years, yet here we are, witnessing another leap in performance, efficiency, and cross-platform integration. Apple's focus isn't on redesigning hardware every year, it's on creating a stable ecosystem where every new product harmonizes seamlessly with the last. The M5 iPad Pro embodies that philosophy, refinement, not reinvention. It's the same chassis, but everything inside has evolved. The thermal structure is optimized. The board layout is denser. The power controller is redesigned for efficiency. Even the way the chip interacts with the display pipeline has changed, which could mean smoother promotion response and more precise pen latency for Apple Pencil users. Speaking of the display, while this leak didn't highlight any visual changes, there's chatter that Apple has fine-tuned the OLED calibration even further for better HDR accuracy. The M5's more advanced graphics engine may also unlock new rendering techniques for iPadOS animations and possibly a new mode for high-brightness workflows. So, is the M5 iPad Pro a must-upgrade? For most M4 owners, probably not. The M4 is still an incredible machine. But for anyone on an M2 or earlier, this will feel like stepping into the future. The performance difference is noticeable across every task from launching apps to rendering complex 3D scenes. 
In essence, the M5 iPad Pro benchmark leak confirms what many have suspected, Apple Silicon development is entering its next maturity phase. The M5 isn't revolutionary because it breaks form, it's revolutionary because it perfects it. It's the culmination of years of iteration, optimization, and a relentless drive to make computing invisible, effortless power in your hands. If these benchmarks are genuine, then the M5 iPad Pro could redefine what we expect from tablets in 2025 and beyond. It's not a step, it's a stride toward a future where your tablet, your Mac, and even your iPhone are united under one powerful, scalable architecture capable of handling everything from casual web browsing to Hollywood-grade video editing. Apple's control over its silicon, software, and ecosystem gives it a unique edge. Every part of this machine, from chip design to thermal engineering to iPad OS, has been tuned in harmony. That's something no other manufacturer can claim. And that's why this leak matters so much. Because beyond the numbers and technical jargon, it represents Apple's ongoing pursuit of mastery, not for competition, but for creation.